Welcome in this video, we'll explore the capture of the German U-boat U-110 by the British destroyer HMS Bulldog during World War II. This daring mission resulted in the seizure of the Enigma machine, a critical tool in the German war effort, which gave the Allies a crucial advantage. Join us as we delve into the history of this significant event and discover the tactics and bravery that made it possible. Enigma is a very famous name amongst military historians. It was the name given to a family of cipher machines invented in Germany by Arthur Scherbius at the end of World War I. They were adopted by the German military in 1925 and saw widespread use through World War II. The Enigma coding machines were used by the Germans to encrypt and decrypt the secure message traffic of the German armed forces, the Heer, Army, Kriegsmarine, Navy, and Luftwaffe, Air Force. This traffic could relate to anything, troop movements, ship movements, or attack orders, all valuable information that needed to be secured for transmission to the German forces. Enigma was thought to be unbreakable, and the Germans put confidence in that statement evidenced by their total lack of knowledge about Allied decryption efforts. While Enigma did have some cryptographic weaknesses, it was so effective that it would take an enormous amount of work and resources to actually defeat it, and the Germans believed no one would be able to organize that. While the Allies did allocate resources and work to the decryption efforts, pioneering early computers in the pursuit of more effective decryption mechanics, their success was down to procedural flaws, operator mistakes, laziness and neglect of the need to update coding parameters in combination with the capture of encryption tables and actual machines themselves. Being able to read secure German message traffic was of course a crucial goal to Allied operations, and thus became a priority for British intelligence leading to the famous designation of ULTRA for decoded German signals intelligence. The intelligence service based their Enigma code breakers in Bletchley Park to preserve security. It was absolutely critical that the Germans did not get wind of the Allied attempts to break Enigma. Not known by the Germans at the time, the Polish Cipher Bureau had already cracked Enigma using reconstructed machines and information gleaned from a captured German spy. Upon the outbreak of the war and the occupation of Poland, the Poles passed all of their Enigma-breaking techniques and equipment to the British and French, including reconstructed machines. These proved invaluable to the cryptanalysis effort in Bletchley Park and resulted in German Army and Luftwaffe messages being relatively easily deciphered. The Navy, on the other hand, used a much more complex machine and much more secure procedures. Thus, the need to get hold of Kriegsmarine codebooks and a machine were great, particularly as the U-boat war intensified and brought Britain to the brink of defeat. This is where HMS Bulldog comes in. Having had a relatively uneventful war thus far escorting Royal Navy carriers to the home fleet from their bases in the Mediterranean, she would be responsible for the first recorded capture of a Kriegsmarine Enigma machine and coding books. U-110's keel was laid down the 1st of February 1940 by Deschimag Egg Weser of Bremen, Germany as yard number 973. She was launched on the 25th of August 1940 and commissioned on the 21st of November with Captain Lieutenant Fritz Julius Lemp in command. The boat was part of the second U-boat flotilla from her commissioning date until her loss. Lemp commanded U-110 for her entire career. In an earlier boat, U-30, he was responsible for the sinking of the passenger liner SS Athenia on the first day of the war. The circumstances were such that he was considered for court-martial. He continued, however, to be one of the most successful and rebellious commanders of his day. U-110 was a Type 9B U-boat, which were slightly larger than the original German Type 9 submarines. U-110 had a displacement of 1,051 tons when at the surface, and 1,178 tons while submerged. The U-boat had a total length of 76.50 meters or 251 feet, a beam of 6.76 meters or 22.2 feet, and a height of 9.60 meters or 31.6 feet. The submarine was powered by two MAN M9 V4046 supercharged four-stroke nine-cylinder diesel engines producing a total of 4,400 metric horsepower for use while surfaced. Two Siemens Schuckert 2GU 345-34 double-acting electric motors producing a total of 1,000 metric horsepower for use while submerged. 
She had two shafts and two 1.92 meter or six foot propellers. The boat was capable of operating at depths of up to 230 meters or 750 feet. The submarine had a maximum surface speed of 18.2 knots and a maximum submerged speed of 7.3 knots. When submerged, the boat could operate for 64 nautical miles at 4 knots. When surfaced, she could travel 12,000 nautical miles at 10 knots. U110 was fitted with 653.3 centimeter torpedo tubes, four fitted at the bow and two at the stern, 22 torpedoes, one 10.5 centimeter SK C32 naval gun, 180 rounds, and a 3.7 centimeter SK C30, as well as a two centimeter C30 anti-aircraft gun. The boat had a complement of 48, U-110 set out on her first patrol from Kiel on the 9th of March, 1941. Her route to the Atlantic Ocean took her through the gap between the Faroe and Shetland Islands. Her first victim was Eridona, which she damaged south of Iceland on the 16th of March. She also damaged Siramalm on the 23rd. This ship only escaped after she was hit by a torpedo which failed to detonate, although it left a large dent and the U-boat's 105mm deck gun crew forgot to remove the Tampion in the muzzle before engaging their target. The resulting explosion on firing the first round wounded three men and compelled the boat to fire on the merchantmen with the smaller 37 and 20mm armament. Despite being hit, Siramalm successfully fled the scene, zigzagging as she went. U-110 arrived in Lorient on the French Atlantic coast on the 29th of March having cut the patrol short due to damage from the exploding gun. On the morning of the 9th of May, U-110 under the command of Fritz Julius Lemp, together with U-201, had been attacking a British convoy just south of Iceland. Lemp had successfully sunk two ships of the convoy totaling 7,500 tons when he accidentally left his periscope up to confirm his kills. HMS Obricia, one of the convoy escorts, spotted the periscope and moved to engage U-110 with depth charges. She survived the first assault, but soon the two destroyers, HMS Bulldog and HMS Broadway, joined the hunt, dropping their own depth charges. HMS Bulldog, H-91, was a B-class destroyer built for the Royal Navy between 1929 and 1931. Bulldog displaced 1,380 tons at standard load. The ship had an overall length of 98.5 meters or 323 feet and a beam of 9.8 meters or 32 feet 3 inches. She was powered by Parsons geared steam turbines driving two shafts which developed a total of 34,000 shaft horsepower giving a maximum speed of 35 knots. Steam for the turbines was provided by three Admiralty three-drum boilers. With a maximum of 400 tons of fuel oil, she had a range of 4,800 nautical miles at 15 knots. Ship's complement was 134 officers and enlisted, increasing to 142 during wartime. She mounted four quick-firing 4.7-inch McKay 9 guns in single mounts, designated A, B, X, and Y from front to rear. She was briefly fitted with a C-13 mount capable of 60 degree elevation for testing. Anti-aircraft or AA defense consisted of two 40 mm QF two-pounder MK-2 AA guns on a platform between her funnels. She was fitted with two above water quadruple torpedo tube mounts for 21 inch torpedoes. One depth charge rail, Two throwers and 20 depth charges were originally carried. This increased to 35 shortly after the war began. The ship was fitted with a Type 119 ASDIC set to detect submarines through sound waves that would reflect off the submarine. By April 1941, the ship's AA armament was increased when a 3-inch AA gun replaced the rear torpedo tubes. In late 1941, the ship was converted to an escort destroyer by replacing her A gun with a Hedgehog anti-submarine mortar. By April 1943, her Y gun had been removed for an increase to 70 depth charges. Additional depth charge stowage later replaced the 12 pounder. The 2 pounder mounts were replaced by Ehrlichon 20 mm cannons, with two more later added to the forward superstructure. Bulldog was completed on the 8th of April 1931 at a cost of 221,408 pounds, excluding items supplied by the Admiralty such as guns, ammunition, and communications equipment. After her commissioning, 
She was assigned to the 4th Destroyer Flotilla with the Mediterranean Fleet until September 1936, when she was transferred to the Home Fleet. U-110 was forced to surface by the attack, and Bulldog's captain set a course to ram the U-boat. Lemp, seeing this, announced last stop, everybody out, meaning abandon ship. As the crew turned out onto the U-boat's deck, they came under fire from Bulldog and Broadway with casualties from gunfire and drowning. The British had believed that the German deck gun was to be used and ceased fire when they realized that the U-boat was being abandoned and the crew wanted to surrender. After he ordered his crew to abandon ship, mistakenly leaving behind the Enigma ciphers and code books, he wrongly assumed the Brits would sink her. Bulldog's captain realized at the last moment that they might be able to seize the German boat and changed course. Lemp realized that U-110 was not sinking and attempted to swim back to it to destroy the secret material and was never seen again. A German eyewitness testified that he was shot in the water by a British sailor, but his fate is not confirmed. Including Lemp, 15 men were killed in the action, and 32 were captured. HMS Bulldog prepared and sent a boarding party under the command of Lieutenant David Baum. They got onto U-110 and stripped it of everything portable, including her Kurt Signali codebook and Enigma machine. William Stuart Pollock, a former radio operator in the Royal Navy and on loan to Bulldog, was on the second boat to board U-110. He retrieved the Enigma machine and books as they looked out of place in the radio room. U-110 was taken in tow back toward Britain, but sank en route to Iceland. Radio officer Georg Hogel and the rest of the crew were held at Camp 23, Monteith POW Camp at Iroquois Falls, Northern Ontario, Canada, which is now the Monteith Correctional Complex, in order to preserve the secrecy of the seizure of the Enigma information. The Admiralty realized the significance of the capture and the recovered equipment and information. The capture allowed the codebreakers at Bletchley Park to crack the German Navy's codes and gave them unparalleled insight into the more secure operations that the Kriegsmarine used with regard to its encryption. Much work would still need to be done, however, the German codes would change soon enough and the Kriegsmarine would switch to an even more complex variant of Enigma in 1942. By 1945, because of the work of the cryptanalysts at Bletchley Park and the actions of military units like HMS Bulldog in securing German cryptographic information, all German encrypted traffic was being decrypted within a day or two. The Germans never even suspected that it might have been broken. U-110 was also the first U-boat captured in World War II, another record for Bulldog and her crew. It wasn't until the capture of U-570, however, that a U-boat was kept intact and towed back to port. U-570 was eventually commissioned into the Royal Navy as HMS Graf. HMS Bulldog was surplus after the war, and she was broken up for scrap in 1946. Thanks for watching. Remember to like and subscribe. See you soon.